Let's solve this challenge about strings. It's called Sherlock and the valid string. So we consider a valid string to be one where all the characters appear the same number of times. So it's also valid if we can remove only one character at one specific index and the remaining characters have the same number of occurrences. We have a string S and we have to determine if that string is a valid one. If yes, we have to return the string yes, otherwise we have to return the string no. So this is an example, A, B, C. A appears once, B appears once, and C is the same. If we have A, B, double C, C doesn't appear the same number of times as A and B, but we have a second condition here, which is if we remove one character at one specific index, we're going to match the criteria. And that's true because if we remove C here at index two or index three, we're going to have A, B, C. So that's a valid string, but A, B, triple C, that's invalid because C appears three times. And even if we remove a single occurrence for the character C, we'll still have C appearing twice, whereas A and B appear only once. So this here is my solution. I've added several comments so that you guys can follow my explanation. First, I'm going to have an array of size 26 for the 26 letters of the alphabet. And I'm going to initialize all the elements in that array to zero. Then I'm going to have a for loop. It's only these two lines. What I'm doing here is looping through all the characters inside of my string parameter called S. And at every iteration, I increment the count of that letter from the alphabet, that character, inside of this array. So I have minus 97 here, because if you look at the ASCII table here from rapid tables, you can refresh your memory on the ASCII decimal representation for every letter of the alphabet. And for lowercase a, the value is 97. If C is lowercase a, when I do 97, it means 97 minus 97, that is zero, meaning that this will increment the value at index zero inside of my array here. So once I have the counts for all my characters, I can have this loop here from zero all the way to 26 for all the characters of the alphabet. And at every instance, I'm going to check what is the value for that character inside of my string. When you look at the constraints here for this challenge, they say that there will be at least one character in the string S, which is our parameter here. So this condition here is checking, is the current value greater than zero? In other words, is it a character that appears in the string S? If yes, I'm gonna check if my count variable is still equal to zero because here I initialize that to a zero. And remember that this is outside of this for loop. So if count is equal to zero, it means that I've encountered the first character from my string S. At that point, whatever occurrence value that character has, I'm going to assign that to my count variable, meaning that every other count inside of my array here, my alpha array, must have the same value as counts. Otherwise, if counts is already initialized, meaning that I've already found my first character, the number of occurrences, then I need to check again if the value for the occurrences of my current character, which is alpha index i, if that is equal to my count value. If not, I can count that as a mismatch. So like here, if you check, um, you have A appears once, B appears once, and then C appeared three times at first. So that is one invalid thing. Now we need to check if we remove one character, can we have the same number of occurrences? And we saw that for that example here in the instructions, this failed. If you look at my code, these if statements are connected, but this one is separate. So this condition here is checking, do we have a character that appears way too many times? So if invalid is greater than one, or if the current occurrences for that character minus the counts, which is what every other character is supposed to have, if the difference here is greater than one. For example, here, C appeared three times and the counts would have to be one because every other character appears only once. So if we do three minus one, we get two. And that's how we know that the string is invalid. So in this case, we can return no. In every other case, if the for loops are done and we never returned, then we can return yes at the very end. So that's it for the full solution. 
when I submit this, we pass all the test cases. So that's it for Sherlock and the valid string. If you like my solution in C++, please subscribe and I'll catch you next time.